going, go. Oh. Go, keep going. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. When we heard we were able to get a chance to shoot with the Sony Burano, we sort of designed a little shoot around two lovers uh, and a heist that's gone wrong. You know, the Sony Burano really shines in this situation because there's so much texture to this location. We've got wood, um, you know, we've got old carpets and windows and old curtains and our, we've got an incredible cast that we're working with with beautiful, beautiful skin tones and we're trying to shoot them in many different lighting environments, day, interior, exterior, under all sorts of different artificial lights. You know, we're going to do some natural dusk light later, but just trying to put the sensor through its paces is the best way to do a camera test for me, rather than just sort of shooting bowls of fruit or static people in a, in a studio. I love sort of going out and doing a little narrative short film with, with friends and then that's the best way to, to see what a camera system can really do and it's performing really well in this situation when we're, we're putting it through you know handheld dolly work gimbals um, and it's been great once i see his face bandana come off i'll go back to tati as she drives away speed here we go ready and action go 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 so I love the Sony sensor, I mean the sensor on the Burano is essentially the same sensor as the Venice 2, so it's a sensor I'm very used to working with and exposing to. It's got a huge dynamic range, you know, we can see deep, deep into the shadows and way, way into the highlights and, and the bit depth of the sensor is huge as well, 16 bit depth. So I've got detail all through the colours, all through sensitive things like neons and fluoros unusual fluorescence that we've got on set, tungsten lights, you know, often on a lot of digital cameras, those highlights at the very top end will just blow out and there'll be no colour in them. Whereas on this, we're sort of getting all that subtlety, we're getting all that beauty of colour. Um, and it just essentially makes for more naturalistic images then. It just looks more like it should to your eye. When you're not worrying about things clipping and blowing out all the time, you can kind of be a lot more gestural the way you light and a lot more loose, you know, you're not constantly cutting and exposing for highlights or anything like that. You're just exposing as it should be to your eye. Okay, I'm rolling. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, nice. Actually, that's pretty... And then uh, angle over as if she's there looking at herself in the mirror. It's amazing that we can still shoot raw on such a compact body. And the file management's pretty achievable still because, you know, we're shooting XOCN LT on it and the file sizes are really manageable and nothing as massive as uncompressed raw, you know, we're really enjoying it. It's been pretty simple on our small shoot. You know, we don't have reams of hard drives or anything with us, but we can manage it on a small crew, the, the files on this. And, and given that's a sensor, uh, that's of equal beauty to a Venice 2 sensor. We're achieving amazing results with such a small crew and small camera size. Because what, what I was before was sort of more in Tati's eye line. Okay. Yeah, happy? Yeah, rolling. The built-in NDs on the Burano are really great. Uh, it means I can do really subtle variable ND changes rather than doing whole stop increments like I used to. It means I can be adjusting things by like a tenth of a stop and I can leave the iris exactly as I'd like it to be on the film lens and then just adjust the variable ND, you know. So it's a world of difference from when, you know, we're doing glass changes constantly in matte boxes means you can work very quickly, particularly again in that dusk, low light situation where the light is changing every minute, every second. You can be just doing a subtle adjustment along the way, so that's really great. I think it's good. I think it's good. It's sort of got a good energy to it. I think it's wider, it's just too major. You know, like your picture yeah. this just has a better energy to it. Like a little bit more dangerous or something. Like, great. Yeah, I can absolutely see myself using the Sony Burano in the future to run other productions. Pairing it with the Venice 2 is just like a really natural place it can fit into any, any film production or you can sort of use it as a run and gun solo operator as well. So yeah, I love it. Okay, ready, we're rolling and action, I'm pushing in. Great. 
Cutting.